So I'm picking up on a very specific message today. It's not going to resonate for everyone, but I'm picking up on a divine feminine. Okay. And whoever I'm picking up on, it feels like you're literally a goddess that is incarnated on this earth at the moment. And you represent luxury and you represent beauty. Okay. You are somebody that you are naturally beautiful, right? You are somebody that you live a very luxurious lifestyle naturally. People just may question how you do it. They may wonder what you do for a living. They may wonder how you get your money. They may wonder how everything always seems to go your way. Okay. Um, you are somebody that you get things handed to you naturally. Okay. People give you things for free. People want to take you places, right? And again, this is not going to resonate for everyone. So if it's not resonating for you, please don't get mad in the comments, right? This is for a very high vibrational divine feminine that is supposed to be living this life of luxury and somebody re that represents beauty, okay? Now, you are somebody that you are very spiritual okay now this is something that is very natural for you so even from a very young age you may have kind of caught yourself doing very spiritual things okay without even knowing what you were doing right because again you are a lot more powerful than you even think okay you are somebody that not just do you have very powerful spirit guides, but you are somebody that has a very powerful soul. And you yourself, as I mentioned before, it's like you're literally a goddess incarnated. And why I keep saying that is because of this card here. Okay, that's what this card means, right? Um, and by the way, I'm using this deck today and I've been using it for a bit. It's called Goddess of Love Tarot. I love it. Okay. Um, but whatever I'm picking up on today, again, you are somebody that you represent luxury. You represent beauty. Okay. People just feel naturally drawn to you. People just want to give you things. People just want to see you happy. Right? You are somebody that attracts a lot of people but you also are heavily connected to animals right you may have animals just coming up to you feeling very comfortable around you i'm getting something about butterflies but also birds okay and i'm actually picturing a rainbow lorikeet right now that may resonate for somebody um but you are somebody that Animals are attracted to you. People are attracted to you. Opportunities are attracted to you. And you have somebody here that... Now, this is not just one person. I have to make that very clear. I just think 333 when I said that. You come across a lot of people that don't like you just because of this, okay? You come across a lot of people because... You represent beauty. You're somebody that is very attractive. So even when you're walking into a room, you do experience a lot of evil eye, a lot of jealousy, right? You do irritate a lot of low vibrational people. Um, but there is this one person in particular. And this is somebody who is literally a witch, okay? Like they're coming up. In this deck, it's called the Witch of Cups, right? So they're coming up as a literal witch, right? Somebody that... They want what you have. This is somebody who... They try to mimic what you have naturally with spell work, okay? So this is somebody who does a lot of beauty spells, they try to, they do a lot of money spells, um, they do spells to kind of gain popularity and whatever you have naturally, this person tries to mimic that with spell work, okay? 
And this is somebody that, so as I mentioned before, you have a very, a goddess energy, okay? You have a very divine feminine energy, right? You are somebody that in, you're naturally very magical, you naturally attract things to you. This person, they use spell work to do what what you do naturally or what you have naturally, okay? This person though, the jealousy and the evil eye coming from them towards you, like they cannot stand you, they cannot handle you. They are jealous of your light, but they're not just jealous of your light, they are jealous of your soul purpose, your spirituality, right? The connection that you have with God, they're jealous of that. The connection that you have with the universe and your spirit guide. And this is so much deeper than them just being jealous of, you know, your beauty, your look, you know, your success, you know, the way that you live your life, the opportunity that you get. This is deeper than that. They are literally jealous of the connection that you have with spirit you they're jealous of your gift okay whoever i'm picking up on you are naturally very gifted right and this person it's almost like i'm i keep picturing somebody and it's like i don't want to even mention it but like it's like they're suffocating, literally. It's like they're suffocating themselves, right? It's like the hate and the jealousy that they embody towards you is suffocating them, right? This is somebody who's trying to siphon your energy. So it's almost like they're trying to swap destinies with you. They want your opportunity. They want your, again, your spirituality. Like it's like they want your connection, the one that you have with spirit and God. They want to. This is more than being jealous, this is somebody that wants to be you, right? And they're jealous of your soul purpose. They're jealous of your spirituality. Now, this is somebody who, there's a lot of spiritual warfare going on. It actually is showing up as a whole war. Like, you there's a war going on between your spirit guides and their spirit guides okay but it's not really their spirit guides it's more their spell work so you are somebody that this is not really affecting at all but your spirit guides are working very hard for you now i am getting a strong message to be very mindful Okay, because this person's trying to get into your energy field. They're trying to get into your head. Okay. It's important, whoever I'm picking up on today, you are not distracting yourself. Put the phone down. Okay, I'm getting something about the phone. Put the phone down. Don't distract yourself because this person... The spiritual attacks that they're sending to you, it's like they're sending a lot to you, but these type, types of attacks only work if you're in the vibration of fear, right? But the thing is, if you're distracting yourself, okay, that can become a problem. Um... If you distract yourself, that's when these energies, especially if you're like scrolling 
on TikTok or even watching videos on YouTube or something like that or just on social media in general, then ideas can be kind of planted into your mind, okay? You can kind of slip into the vibration of fear, especially on like TikTok and stuff. Um, so just to make sure that you're not distracting yourself. Now, this witch here, they are working overtime, okay? This person is working really hard. Like they're constantly practicing spell work. They're constantly trying to send you attack. Um, now, why this is this happening? It's because in the year of 2024, these glamour spells, these beauty spells, these, this spell work that people use to kind of get ahead, okay, they, ha they are wearing off, okay? They're not working in 2024, right? And it's been happening since January. You will notice that people... A lot of people that get a lot of admiration, okay, but they do it by using witchcraft. Those people, you will notice um, even celebrities, okay, people that were once very admired and, you know, could kind of get away with anything, no longer have that type of hold on people, okay, because these spells are not working. They're being broken in 2024, right? Especially now in April, okay? So you see this person working overtime, right? This is somebody who, as I mentioned, they try to embody the same energy that you have naturally, right? And it's not working for them. Because, again, the spells are not working this year. I just need 12-12. So, people are actually seeing these witches and these people that use spell work for who they truly are. Right? It's like these tactics are no longer working. Right? So, this is somebody who... Every opportunity that they have ever had, every ounce of popularity or even down to their beauty, right, has all been because of spells. And it's not working for them anymore. So now they are trying to destiny swap, which that is a real thing. You can look into it. Um... Again, not going to work for them. With the Eight of Swords and the Judgment Reverse, um, this is going to land them in a whole lot of drama, right? They're going to... They're creating a lot of karma for themselves. Oh, okay. Then two. Then two witches here. Okay, we have... The Witch of Cups and the Witch of Sword coming up here. So there are two witches here that are trying to attack you. Two separate people that are practicing spell work witchcraft on you. Because they are jealous, okay? And as I mentioned, it's not so much your beauty even though it is, but it's not so much that with these people. It's the connection that you have with spirit. Okay? It, you are somebody that is very intuitive. You are somebody, I just seen 14, 14. You are somebody that is very connected to spirit. Okay? You're somebody that receives download. For, I might be speaking to a tarot reader or somebody in the spiritual community here because... This is somebody that, again, you get a lot of knowledge, you know, you live this life where people just feel like you are so lucky, you're so blessed, okay? But as I mentioned, that in this lifetime, that is what you're supposed to be doing, okay? You get things handed to you, 
people love you, animals love you, your spirit is beautiful, your soul is beautiful. And these witches here, they cannot stand that, they cannot stand you. Now, there is somebody here that, it's almost like this one person, this witch, the Witch of Swords that I'm picking up on, it's almost like they are looking at you as a challenge, okay? They feel like that they would be able to kind of break you down or they would be able to successfully ruin you. So a lot of people are, as I mentioned, drawn to you. You are very popular. Somebody is literally, this person here, so you have somebody over here, as I mentioned before, the person I was picking up on, the first witch, I know this is a bit confusing, um, this person is coming more for, it's like they want to be you, okay, they want to be you, they want to live your life, and they're trying to do what they may be straight out copying you but then there's this other witch over here and they don't like how much attention you get okay they are trying to come for they don't want people to be attracted to you they don't want people to it's like they want to hide you they want to destroy you like We literally have the Witch of Wands here. You, I don't, okay, so you have a group of people that are practicing witchcraft on you, right? Now you have a lot of people that love you, a lot of people that adore you, and you are somebody that is very high vibrational and you live a very beautiful life. Um, people want to destroy that, okay? So you do have a few different people here that are trying to come at you with spell work, right? So it's very important, as I mentioned, that you're not distracting yourself, that you are not on a low vibration. Do not do that. Do not allow that to happen because naturally you vibrate at a very high level. But what happens with spell work and witchcraft is this stuff needs you to be on a low vibration. So you need to be sad or you need to be scared or you need to be some type of fear, the vibration of fear, even depression, right? And anxiety. So you need to make sure that you're keeping your vibration up okay meditate spend time in nature near the water okay whatever recharges you and your soul whatever you resonate with right make sure that you are drinking a lot of water cleansing yourself okay and really staying on a high vibration because what will happen is little things will happen for example this is why distracting yourself can kind of be dangerous in this situation because say you're scrolling on TikTok and you come across something that puts fear into your heart, okay? Or say you're watching TV and then the news comes on and it puts fear into your heart. At that moment where you are lowering your vibration, that's when things can start attacking you, okay? This spell work can start working. Right? So, 
be very mindful with what you're thinking, what you're doing. Okay, just be careful of your thoughts as well. And again, being mindful and keeping a high vibration, this stuff will not touch you. Right? But if you do lower your vibration, that's when it can affect you. Okay, so you actually have the witched confused. For some of you, there's a few people that are kind of linking up together, trying to attack you. I am picking up on a very powerful person today, right? And the way that you just overcome, you are very resilient, right? And you overcome everything. But the thing is, I'm not even getting that it's touching you. Like, I'm getting that there may be signs about it, but it's not directly touching you at all. If anything, you are rising above it and... Oh, okay, so... This energy naturally is transmuting, okay, into positive energy for you. You're an alchemist, okay? Again, it's not going to resonate for everyone, but it's almost like you're very resilient and even in darkness and when then negative energy spiritual attack going on like you are not affected because you have been through so much right you kind of thrive in every environment there's been a period in your life where things were dark okay you were going through a lot and you were still thriving and now you're living this life of luxury and you have stepped into your power. And I mean, you're still thriving. Nothing can pull you down. Whoever I'm picking up on today, you are such a beautiful, wise old soul. And... It can be a blessing, but it can also be a curse because you do attract a lot of people that want to bring you down, a lot of people that are jealous of you, even though you're such a loving person, like you're literally a source of love and light. You have a lot of people here that just cannot stand you because of this, right? You have people that embody very low vibration and they're very irritated by you you have every witch here you have every witch in the deck here trying trying to come for you right every single witch in the deck trying to come for you It's so crazy, yeah, I'm getting that the, th at least three people have linked up here, and they're trying to attack you, they're trying to attack your vibration, they do not like you, and they don't like you because they're threatened by you, right? Whoever I'm picking up on, there is this energy to you where you're literally the top of your game, you're the top of what you, you're the top, okay? Like, you cannot be beaten. Right? You cannot be dragged down, okay? You are somebody that is so powerful. You are somebody that is so resilient. 
so many opportunity, so attractive, right? You literally have it all. But again, you have people here at the moment that are linking up, trying to attack you and send you spiritual warfare. Okay? And they're all very angry as well because no matter what they do here, it's like the more attack that they send, the more blessing that you get, okay? Strong Sagittarius energy here. Then Gemini energy here as well. Leo energy as well. Do you know what? The only thing that has happened here is you have proved to these three people that you are more powerful than them all combined. That is the one thing that they have learnt here. They have tried really hard and, you know, they've done all this spell work, these rituals to try to attack you. I just think 20, 20, 20. And you have just showed them that you're untouchable, you're too powerful, and you're more powerful than all of them combined, right? And that's because whoever I'm picking up on today, you are not a witch. You are literally a high priestess energy, okay? You are somebody that is naturally gifted, right? You are somebody that this is you naturally. You don't need to do any spell work. You don't need to do any ritual, right? All that really does is the person that is doing spell work, ritual, they get so much karma, they don't even realize, right? For example, if you do some type of ritual to get, say, an amount of money, you, later on, you may get the money. But then later on, somehow you're going to have to pay that back, sometimes by three, sometimes by ten. Okay, so... Say you receive a large sum of money from witchcraft, a few years down the line, there will be some massive bill or there will be something that happens and then you will have to pay somebody back that times three, right? The way that people that do spells do nothing but inherit karma for them and their bloodline it's crazy and they don't even realize it happens. Okay, so these people here, all they're doing is creating a so much karma, so much karma for themselves. Whatever they're wishing on you goes back to them, right? But it's not just that, like the hatred in their heart and them trying to kind of come for your spiritual connection and them being jealous of your connection with God, they don't even realize what they're doing to themselves. There's Aries energy here. Strong Leo and Aries. So, again, it's very important for whoever I'm picking up on to make sure that you're staying on a very high vibration. Just do what you normally do and make sure you're not getting distracted so that's all i have for you if it resonated let me know don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next reading